Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 all the time as a kid, and I remember absolutely loving it. But is this all nostalgia? In this video, we'll be covering the base game, the Soken, and Wild expansion packs. And best of all, this marks the start of a three part series on this channel where we will be covering the Roller Coaster Tycoon games from newest to oldest. That's right, y'all. We are George Lucasing this crap. We're starting at three and going all the way backwards. Let's go. And we are in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And uh, we've got some people already coming in, even though there's nothing here. Who's this guy? He's looking kind of condescending. Park Inspector? Let's go ahead and grab him. He reminds me of that guy from Ratatouille. This park is lame. So let's take a look at some of these options. We've got rides, shops and facilities, scenery, paths, and terrain tools. Okay, I feel like we should probably close our park first, right? We can do that by clicking on the gate and hitting this red button here because we don't have anything in the park. Come on in folks, look at our field. You can hold down the mouse wheel button and be able to get these different fields of view much more easily than when I played Zoo Tycoon 2. Is I'm wanting to change my angle like this so I can see a, a better... What's the word I'm looking for? But the cameras weren't nearly as intuitive as they are in this already so far. I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, right click, does what I think it would do, which is move me around, get this daytime turned on because I can't see nothing. Arrow keys obviously move me around as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously build some rides. Let's get started. We got roller coasters, water rides, gentle rides, transport rides. Thrill rides are gonna be a great place for us to start because they don't require all the designing up front. So we can just get some rides started in our park. So we placed our ride and now it appears we're placing either an entrance or an exit. And we have these different options down here in the bottom left. You can really customize how your park looks. You can have different maybe zones of the park that are different themes, or you can have your whole park be a certain theme. Operating mode, we can wait for any load. Three fourths of load, half load, one fourth of the load. Minimum waiting time, maximum waiting time, you can adjust those and number of circuits. And I imagine all these things affect the different thrill ratings and overall satisfaction ratings, as well as how long the wait times are for different rides, which really makes your park feel like you're actually managing a real theme park. Under the maintenance tab, you can also check on the reliability, the downtime, how often you inspect the vehicle. Never, never inspect the vehicle ever. I don't care. You can name your ride, choose different music for your ride. Man, there's a lot of customization here. Choose a fence for the ride or attraction. Got all these different fences. You can choose your colors for the ride and we've got yet another tycoon game that's hating on the colorblind folk. I love all these color options, but please tell me what they are because otherwise I'm gonna choose this bad boy, pair it with this bad boy, and pair it with that bad boy. I don't know what that looks like. I wish I did. You can choose colors for your carts as well. Oh my goodness. Admission price for the ride? If we press enter coaster cam, this reminds me a lot of the Zoo Tycoon first person mode. This is so neat. They really want you to experience this ride in the fullest. I feel like we're going to need some staff members before we start opening up the park. So let's do that next. So right now, all we have is a park inspector and he's evaluating pools. Man, you're really earning the big bucks, aren't you? Man, look at that pool. Hire a janitor. Mechanics, we'll hire two of those. Security personnel, get some mascots going on. An animal keeper. I knew there was going to be some Zoo Tycoon stuff in here. Now, is this associated with Zoo Tycoon at all? Or was this direct competition aimed at Zoo Tycoon? Makes one wonder, doesn't it? Let's dive into some guest amenities. There's so much here. We can do food, bison burgers, burgers, chicken, cookies, cotton candy, dino burger, donuts. There's a lot of options here. I do wonder if the same logic applies here. Oh my gosh, that's a big park. Zoo Tycoon 2. Take notes. I shouldn't have to mod your game to have this kind of space. The Tycoon Wars are fierce, but man, RCT3 is coming in strong. One thing I don't like is I don't like that when I drag the road, it draws it like it's a cram. I don't like that. I want a straight line. What the? How high can this go? I was holding down the shift key to try to make a straight line, and I just... What can you do with that? I mean, I guess you could have like the most dank roller coaster entrance of all time. So this is the highest you can go for a store or a restaurant. Why can you build a road all the way up to there? It doesn't make any sense. And there's our burger joint. The Z key rotates the stores, it appears. What? 
you probably don't need to dive into this much detail, but you've got your standard burger, your one fourth pound burger. You can choose what condiments come with it. Pickles, some, cheese, some, ketchup, some. And I guess that would affect the quality. You could check box all of them and you can raise or lower the prices on these. Extras for sold item. You have pickles, cheese, and ketchup. So for the price they're paying, they get some, little, not provided. It's gonna do lots loads guest choice why would we not do guest choice so for ketchup we'll do guest choice for cheese you have to do loads of cheese i mean why would you not do loads of cheese lactose intolerant or not i don't care pickles nobody should be doing that we don't offer pickles here i mean it's got me wondering I mean, what kind of options do you get for chicken it's chicken hot chilies chicken dip okay i'm thinking like drumstick i don't really dip my drumsticks in anything three chicken pieces four chicken pieces hershey's stall hershey's is in this game that's a legit hershey's icon. That's some subtle advertising. We even got the kisses over here. Look at that. Hershey's is not a sponsor of this video, but hey, if you happen to see this video, oh, I didn't notice this before, synchronized stalls of this type. That's really nice because if you have 50 of these across your park and you're adjusting the prices, that would be super annoying if you had to do this for every single stall, but you don't. This is the last one we'll dive into. This is the drink one. Lemon slice, ice. I have to say, I do appreciate like how detailed you really could get with your park. It feels like you're running a park. That's the nice thing about it. You can choose how stingy you are. You can choose how generous you are. You can choose what prices you have. That part I really do appreciate. So I guess it's time to open up our park and we're gonna charge, how much can we charge? 100 bucks for this bad boy. Question is, is anybody gonna come to our park? Oh, some people are coming in now. Man, you guys are suckers. Paying 100 bucks, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, go back to my park. I'll take $50, how about that? Huh, any takers? Huh, come on now. There we go, 50 bucks a pop. These guys are high rollers. Okay, it's time for the real deal. Let's get some roller coasters rolling up in here. We got all of these cool options here now. Station, auto-complete, that's nice. Well, I don't want to auto-complete just yet. We're still kind of early into this whole, into this whole thing. And we're cranking that bad boy right up. Oh shoot. Go back, go back. I need this chain, toggle lift chain, because otherwise it's not gonna go anywhere, right? Okay, slope it out. Keep that chain going though. I might need to have this go down just a little bit without the chain, get a little bit of momentum, crank that sucker hard left, climb that bad boy back up to the heavens above. Why can't I go any higher? So the highest I can go, get rid of the chain now. And we're gonna do a sharp nose dive. You always have to have that big drop to get those speeds really, really going fast. Can you go underground? Oh my goodness. How low can you go? Holy smokes. Wait a minute. Why can I go so low like that, but I can't go very high? Are you guys seeing this? Look how crazy that is. Just drop him down to hell. I'm all the way out here. From there. That is the drop of a lifetime. I can't, oh, now I can't place a track piece. Jeepers, we're gonna ride that ride. First person mode. I crank that boy left. I'm clicking this for so long. Hey, we're getting close to the surface again. At least there's that. We reemerged victorious. And let's auto complete from here. That's really nice that that's a feature. So I feel like people are gonna be walking up to this ride like, oh, that ride doesn't look half bad. You just kind of go up and you go over here and you, you're back, right? Rock. You take a journey to the center of the earth. The coaster cam. Here we go, folks. Oh, I can go in different seats too. Let's see if the theory works. Drop it down. Oh yeah, we're going. Back on the chain. Here we go, here goes nothing. I don't think we needed chains down there. It was going so fast, the camera just exploded at one point. Force results, positive vertical Gs, 69.37 Gs, max lateral Gs, 34.32. And a quick simple search online says, normal humans can withstand no more than Comment below your guess without cheating. What is the max number of Gs a human can withstand? I will give you five seconds.
Nine Gs. They can't withstand more than nine Gs. We've got 73.67. It's time to open up this bad boy. Let's see if anyone's brave enough to go on this ride. So if I take this person, compact inverted coaster one looks too intense for me. Is no one going to ride this ride? Really? What's the point of being able to make a ride that crazy if no one wants to ride on it? Oh my gosh, is somebody on the ride? Who is that? The park inspector? Is he going to even make it out of this alive? Wow. Oh, dude. So, uh, dude, he's fine. He's like, hmm, might be a little too quick. Take some notes here. Got the chair swing. This one's a classic ride, isn't it? Okay, and then we got the claw of doom. This is also another classic. These rides are crazy in the theme parks I've been to. Whoa, that's intense. I've been on one of these before. Launch or free fall? I hate these things. Do you guys hate these things? I hate these things. Yeah, you can go pretty insane with this one too. So how come I can go this high with this one, but I can't with the other one? Okay, we got some people getting on now. Don't you hate it when you always have some weird looking kid sit next to you on these rides? Dude, I guess I'm just in between. All right, am I not harnessed in? Oh, jeez. That was it? What's the point of it going that high if it doesn't work? That's what she said. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool that you can ride any of your rides. It really takes your park to a different level and it makes whatever you create feel that much more real. They literally let you ride anything you want. And it does a pretty decent job at replicating what it's gonna be like on that ride because I've been on many theme parks that do exactly that. I think it's really cool that you can open up a guest list and literally see every single guest, every single name, what their status is, what they're doing, their happiness levels. That's a lot of information. I have like a 3D cinema, aquarium, circus, crazy golf. Get a nice giant Ferris wheel to kind of draw in some attention, you know what I mean? And we could also have our roller coasters going over and under each other. Like you can really maximize the space that you have in your park. And it's such a great feeling to see your park coming alive with guests. It feels very authentic. Hershey's Kissing Tower. Hershey's be sponsoring this game. Observation Tower, that's kind of cool. You just build up. I mean, this is a huge selling point for this game. It'd be really cool if you could walk around, but this is an observation tower and it's giving you this 3D rounded view. It's rotating on its own because that's what the ride would be. And I can't walk around in here, but it's still a really cool feature to see your park from this perspective. And see, I talked about this a little bit in my Zoo Tycoon 2 video. At the time that these games were coming out, this was a huge selling point was 3D because most of the games of the time, including Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 1, which I have not played, I played this one, not those two. They all operated on a 2D style from top down view. And these games were really showcasing the power of 3D computing inside of computer games. Suspended monorail trains, trams. Okay, we're just gonna build the boarding station now, it looks like. And it's appearing like the same thing as building a, a coaster. And what I really like about this is I can go ahead and just build this all the way out to the back of my park and have fast transportation to stuff that might be way, way back here. We have another station right here. So you can build multiple stations and have it head all the way back. And because I don't feel like completing this whole thing, I'm just gonna hit autocomplete and see what it does. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's not the most ideal way to have it, but it did it for me. If you don't really care about it, why not? You can build an entire monorail system around your park. Maybe you could do that in the older games. I don't know, but cool nonetheless, all right? Oh my gosh, you could even ride the monorail. Change which car you're riding in even to get different perspectives. Very cool. Wouldn't it be so cool if I filled the center of this with different park attractions too? Like a whole different zone, a whole different type of ride. Now would be a good time to look at the water park features. A swimming pool, huh? You can build a swimming pool? Can you do a pool higher up by holding down the shift key? Oh my gosh, you can. Oh yeah. Got an upper pool, lower pool action going on. That's so neat. Let's see, extras, got diving boards, lifeguard chairs. Oh, these are big pools. I didn't notice how big these were. A wave machine? So you have to build them into the wall, it looks like. Multiple heights to dive from? Build a pool spa, hot tubs everywhere, the big wave pool up high. Beach hut themed changing room different style of changing rooms. The question is, how do we get up there? Oh, and you just build the path just like that, huh? Look at that, isn't that so cool? Is it optimal? No, but is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I heard someone Ralph it. Now, how exactly do I open this up? 
Oh, I think this is how you have to do it. I think those are essentially the entrances, the changing rooms. I think you have to build the path to here and then they walk through the changing room and enter the pool area. Is that right? Let's see if people are interested. Oh, they are. Look at that. They're all flocking to the mega pool setup because it's cool. They can just jump in on the side. That's awesome. Decent water effects too. I'm kind of curious what everyone's going to go for. Are they going to go for this epic pool up here? Or are they going to stay in the bottom one? Oh, we already have one brave soul. Jeez, this camera. Oh, there goes the wave pool. Body slide? A standard water flume for use without a mat. Does this have to be a separate thing? I mean, let's just go for it. Let's just see what we can do. I have to go back to the entrance? How does that even work? I don't think that's possible. Okay, a person would slide. And just vanish? Isn't that the point of a slide? Okay, that slide is dumb. Let's try a different slide. H2O slide bowl. Uh, I'm very confused right now. So you're going in and you just... Okay, can I do it in the middle of my pool? I don't understand. Lazy River. I mean, I suppose this one could work. So now that I've completed the Lazy River, how do they get on? That's how you do it. And now we have some people testing out the Lazy River. And there's a lot of people that really enjoy this water park. Ah, oh, this camera, I swear. It's like sometimes it's great and other times it just... <laughs> this aquarium is a track too? That is so cool for the aquarium. Check this out. So for the aquarium, you build a tube thingy and you're like, oh, this is kind of lame. What the heck is this tube thing? That's not an aquarium. Then you can add a manta tank or a round tank, shark tank. There's all these different choices. Get a shark tank in there. Ooh, and have it auto complete. What a cool looking aquarium. This theme park is amazing. So can I walk through this as well? Are you kidding me? Am I in the water with the shark? Get me out of this place. So you can't really walk through it, but you can still see the cool perspectives on the inside, which is neat. I suppose now it's time to take a look. Will this game dethrone the Zoo Tycoon series? Because apparently you can adopt and do enclosures. I do want to say that I really enjoy the building style rather than building a fence path, having this like sort of cube sort of thing. Chain fence, electric fence. Got the mother flipping camel. The box. It's kind of a cool animation. It floats, but when you move, it kind of drags with it. To be fair, they don't have like the largest selection of animals, but it's still quite impressive that a roller coaster game has got a zoo aspect to it. So is it like Zoo Tycoon where you have to like design their exhibit as well, or is it just they're happy trotting around in the grass? It's clear it's not just animals in exhibits. It's also the different designs that you get and different rides that you get as well. Bandito animatronic. I mean, if we want to spook our camels, that's a good way to do it. People aren't here for the camels. They're here for Bandito. This is camera. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I need to feed these camels. Health is all the way down. Do I need to hire staff? Y'all got to take care of these camels. Animal enrichment items. Maybe that's what I need. Iced meat block. We saw similar items in Zoo Tycoon 2 as well. Space bar to kick this car tire. Are you kidding me? They even have physics of it rolling? Guys, I can kick a tire. Okay, who ripped off who? I gotta know. Do you guys remember in Zoo Tycoon 2 where I was like, oh, look, you got a tire. And it's got even the physics and everything. Were they both trying to show off? Who copied who? Who copied who? Dude, they're playing with the tire. Play with the ball too. They're kicking the ball around. These camels are playing soccer. You knocked the ball out of your enclosure, you dumb camel. Herbivore house for camels. No, I don't want to exit. I just want to press escape. And the game keeps asking me, are you sure you want to quit? I don't want to quit the game. Okay, one of the most frustrating things that I have not mentioned up to this point. Anytime I press escape to get out of this. Your move, roller coaster tycoon. You gonna patch this or not? Oh, the game's not important. No one plays it anymore. Die plague. You freaking make me upset. There's our herbivore house. I imagine that's where they get their food. Don't press escape. Tiny relax. Wait, can you do Fight Club? Here I was thinking, there's no way I can do Fight Club inside of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Well, maybe there is after all. Let's get that good grizzly bear. Got that silver bat. Get some nice hippos. Get a couple of horses. Leopards. Lions. Ostrich eyes. Polar bear. Rhino. What is that bear doing? Killed by a predator. Oh, this is Fight Club, all right. This is what I'm talking about. Hank the horse was killed by a predator? 
What are these names? Gene the gorilla and the zebra. They just devoured that poor Zachary the zebra. Oh, why is there so much vomit right there? I mean, Fight Club was still pretty cool in this game too. Basically what it comes down to is it's kind of just like a simulation version of Zoo Tycoon 2, which is still impressive that it's even in the game, and a bunch of additional rides. Are you kidding me? They're taking my animals away? The highlight of this game is definitely all of the ride customizations and the fact you can ride them. To explore these more thoroughly, I made 10 rides in honor of my patrons. This roller coaster I like to call the Alley Heart. This one, the Mariah Weakland. This roller coaster is the Ulrika Ericsson. This bad boy is the Victor Henriksen. This silly little boy is the Colin Holman. Can't forget this epic coaster, the Zack Cooper. The Jolly Wren Carpenter. The Ferocious North Stars. The Exhilarating Night of Chris. And the newest coaster to our park, the Josie. Look, I don't know what other people say about Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 because I know in many game series there are popular titles and then there are less popular titles. I don't know enough about this series to say whether I should like this one or not based on the other two entries in the series. What I can say though, going back to it and playing it again, I am very, very impressed by it. I loved that I could ride any of the rides. I loved how big the park was. It had some camera issues when I actually got into it. The water park aspect was awesome. Building your rides all the customization, all the details, it had a really good immersion level, similar to Zoo Tycoon 2. This game absolutely holds up today. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you're up next. Let's get it.